For more insights on the tangible benefits highlighted in the white paper, let's bring in uh, Liu Zhiqing, Senior Fellow of the Chongyang Institute for Financial Studies at Renmin University of China. Thanks for joining us, Mr. Liu. Uh, what are your views on the BI's role in shaping a common destiny for human for humanity according to the latest published uh, white paper? We should say that uh, China's uh, BRI initiative has uh, made great and uh, unique contribution to the whole world, especially in three uh, factors. The first factor is that this initiative has already provided a theory to build a shared future for humankind. And the second factor is that beside the theory and the China's BRI initiative provide a roadmap how to realize our target. That is how to build up a shared future for humankind. And the third, also very important, that we put all this uh, uh, target in practice. That means in all countries related, we build up projects and all within, within the initiative, so discussed with the, all the people in the government to be connected with each other. All of this that has made a great uh, contribution to bring the prosperity to the local people and the local nations, make the local government and the local countries that are well developed, well managed, especially in the close connection between different countries and different nations and the regions, to make this uh, uh, business and also economic recovery is more effective, more sustainable. So this is a really a very huge and a unique contribution from BRI initiative, make a common cause prosperity and a common equality, and uh, also make all this uh, effort that, uh, to bring the whole world global market even closely and connected with close cooperation, especially the inclusiveness. The idea is uh, very well welcomed and accepted by all over the world. Uh Mr. Liu, we see a lot of railways, high-speed trains, ports, and roads in BI projects. Why these transportation projects, transportation infrastructure, so important? As we know, the, the so-called developing country or uh, the developed country, the big difference is not only the high tech, but the basic difference is that the developing countries have a very backward connections between regions and the countries. This is a, belongs to the transportation field. So infrastructure can build roadway and the highway and the air connections and the shipping connections, make all these goods and the personal closely mobilized. As we know, the mobility means flexibility. Flexibility means opportunity. All these three factors can combine together to provide a huge uh, uh, chances for all countries. So that's why we put very uh, important uh, in, uh, emphasis and the focus on the infrastructure construction, not only China, not only the developing countries, even for the developed countries, they have the same uh, history of development. But the really the infrastructure connections is so important, it's very basic. I have to say that uh, this is a precondition for future development. So we have to put more focus here on the financial support in the infrastructure construction along the Belt and the Road Initiative countries and the regions. Uh, Mr. Liu, we can see that a lot of people, local people around the world, be involved in the building and operation of these giant projects. How can we gauge the positive impact of BI projects on local employment opportunities? Actually, the BI initiative has provided many opportunities to the local people. As I know that in African countries, that there are many local workers that for a long time they lay off jobs, that they have no jobs. But with the BI initiative, in practice, they have many opportunities. For instance, for the maintenance of this project or railway or the highway, they need a lot of workers the skilled workers that are to maintain these uh, uh, facilities and the infrastructure. And the second, all these trans transported goods import and export need the local distribution. 
the distribution center made many jobs opportunities that the local logistics, many people that uh, were eager that, that to take part in this uh, business activities. And the third, they have to contribute to make a distribution of the goods to different areas. That means the sale and the resale, they built up a huge supply chain by allowing this uh, uh, Belt and Road Initiative. That make a good opportunity for local people to find a new job. So uh, as I know that many uh, students uh, graduated from the local uh, countries, especially in Asian countries, that they find the jobs easily that uh, to cooperate with the Belt and Road Initiative, with the Chinese uh, local companies and also the companies that are located in different areas. So many opportunities are provided for this uh, younger generation. So we find that Belt and Road Initiative really have uh, built up a shared future through the human being. Mm, thank you so much for insights. That's Mr.